what I am doing in a wooded area just randomly with my headphones playing it uh, one glove um, leather pleather coat and trackies of course um, basically I am looking for moss to put in that terrarium for some red-eyed croc skinks if there are any at Doncaster I'm hoping there are because I'm putting a lot of effort into the tank otherwise it'll just have to grow and I'll have to pick up the skinks from somewhere else I don't know where but hopefully I can get some um, basically I'm over the common um, I know there's a lot of moss here and I'm sad that I have to pick it up from here because it looks really really awesome um, let's try and find a decent piece um, what I'm trying to do in the terrarium is kind of um, make it into what a common looks like now um, which is like this it's pretty cool it probably doesn't give it justice but um, look, there's this piece of wood here and there's just moss hanging down on it probably won't even focus on it there we go it looks fucking awesome and then there's just moss all on the logs um, it does look really really awesome let's focus this probably won't focus again of course it won't um, plus um, all down here there are trees let's give this one an example um, trees that look like this um, hopefully it will focus again um, and to me that looks bloody awesome just uh, moss growing on old trees trees are still growing but the moss looks awesome plus there's all them logs there which all have moss on so yeah, it looks bloody awesome um, so for me to collect it I just drop the piece here yep um, it looks a bit like this um, it's just like flat it's like you can get the pillow moss um, online it's kind of like that but pillow moss is more uh, hard and stays in one position this is more floppy um, basically what I do is I just put them in these sandwich bags just for now and then when I get home I will wash them take all the dirty bits off take all the uh, scrap that I don't need um, leave all that to one side um, any bugs I can put in a cup ready for the dirt to go in and the cleanup crew um, which will probably be about next week or so um, I don't want to rush things do things right before I do things wrong um, as I say these moths will either be on the floor surrounding the plants um, I'll trim it back make sure it doesn't take over the plants um, and it will be on the background so the background will eventually look like one of these trees with moss growing up it which looks pretty cool if you don't say so myself um, oh this tree is pretty awesome it has like I don't think it's the same moth but if it focuses there you go it's like a, I think it's the same moth actually it's just like smashed on so it's growing on onto it uh, which is pretty damn cool um, and it's all the way down there um, some people know me on YouTube um, or some people know me in person and um, people know I like my mosses because it gives more of a effect to the background it looks like it's been there for a while and I don't know it's, it's just like a authentic look to the whole terrarium it makes it look a lot better and it defines if you have a lot of moss it defines all the plants more um, it just looks a whole lot natural um, aha here's the spot that I wanted um, as you can see there's quite a lot of moss um, it probably doesn't show up on picture but there is quite a lot of moss and I only take not even a fifth of the thing of the whole moss which is on that log so it does have a lot um, it, it has a little bit of space to regrow back uh, so I can collect it another time 
plus I don't want to be taking it all just just all of it because maybe there's a little space left where it has to regrow so it's all about taking what you need but preserving um, the log and preserving the moss so you can come back and collect it another time so I've got two bags in my rucksack I'm probably going to go for about five four or five depending on how much it is each in a bag so I will do that and I will film a short clip of me putting it in the terrarium and how it looks after so peace out guys um, you'll see them videos and then I'll be off thanks for watching guys So I'm done. It's took me about an hour, an hour and a half, not too long. Oh, there's so much moss there. So you can see I haven't actually took that much. I've got five bags, which entirely isn't that much. It's not a great deal. Um, it's just to enough, uh, just enough to last me, uh, last me this terrarium and hopefully Eric's new terrarium, which I have now. Um, so I have two 45 cube terrariums which I'm going to be planting in the next few weeks or a few months including Eric's um, so yeah let's go home and wash these I was just thinking while I was putting the moss in I'm about halfway done um, I was just thinking you haven't actually seen the back of it um, like the cork and stuff like that so I've got my two terrariums here um, one for this one's for Eric. Um, I'll be doing it after this one. Uh, this one is for some red-eyed croc skinks, um, which I should be getting at Doncaster. I'm hoping anyway. Um, if not, I'll have to try and find somewhere else where which sells them, um, which is near impossible. Um, so I've just been putting the moss in. Um, this is what I'm putting it on. It's just cork. Um, it's just. Uh, silicon onto the back of the glass um, it's just simple easy it's better than using spray foam um, I've got a friend who I sold my other terrarium to which used spray foam um, he actually uses this and suggested using this method of doing it um, it's a lot easier and simpler spray foam usually takes or expanding foam it usually takes around two to four days to dry fully and then you have to like chop it off and put silicon on and dirt and stuff like that. This is um, the way I'm doing it is I'm just um, siliconing this cork to this um, to the glass um, using silicon. I actually use like three three or four tubs of silicon. Um, make sure you use a lot so it actually stays on and it doesn't wobble much. As you can see, this isn't wobbling can actually cut this silicon off here zoom in um, and here as you can see I use clear and black doesn't really matter what you use as long as it, it holds it um, and then I'm just like covering it up with moss everywhere um, and in a few weeks it will start growing and it will start looking that green color um, that you see there I will have LEDs on it, so it will have a, chance, a good chance to grow. Uh, if it doesn't, I'll just replace it. Um, as you can see, I'm soaking the moss down there in warm water. Um, and then I'll just place them on here. Um, hopefully, once this is grown, um, next week I'm getting the hydro balls for the drainage layer. 
and I've got the mesh. I've got I'm getting the cocoa um, dirt stuff, uh, the brick form, um, and then after that I should be getting an order of plants um, delivered soon, hopefully. Um, so I'll have a plant, uh, some sort of climber or fern there in here. I will have the same here. Um, so I think I'm having a climber um, or yeah a climber here so it will dangle down um, it will so yeah and I'll have another little one here so it will dangle down here in this hole I'm having a waterfall so it will have a waterfall in that little hole a little pump shooting out and a little kind of pool here um, I might even have that part water and then I will have I think I'm gonna get a bromeliad um, here as I say when I put the drainage layer and the dirt in it will come up to about here and it will slowly slope down like that um, just sit down I say um, so much uh, um, I will have this plant that is on my weasel edge uh, this one here I hopefully will be getting another one of them and I will put it here to fill this space and probably another one here and some smaller plants there um, some foreground and I will cover every, any empty space with moss um, on the floor as you can see this will probably take over the back in maybe two months so as you can see it will grow pretty quick um, and I'm using this purely because Java Moss I will have to pay for and it's like I think it's like three pound a little cup and I would probably need probably about five cups to fill this and I'm not paying like what's that fifteen quid I'm not I don't really want to pay fifteen quid um, so I'm, I'm just picked that up for free um, over the common so that's that I will get.